oh, you know, it means the most to me. You know, to have a good performance and to represent the Jiu Jitsu community, you know, the best way possible is, you know, really all I really want to do. So I'm stoked to make that happen tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm grateful for all the support and ready to keep pushing. Yeah, he was tough and strong for sure. You know, um, anyone from Dagestan is going to be tough and strong, you know. And uh, yeah, I was. A lot of respect for him, you know, I was stoked to get the match and to, uh, to feel his strength, you know. He didn't have to take the fight on short notice, but he did, and he showed up, and, and he's a gamer, so I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, you know, anyone at 180, I should be able to submit no matter what, right? Whether they come to defend and stall or whether they come to attack. So, you know, that's the plan every time I step on the mats. Yeah, two for one, two for one. Everyone's saying, you got to get two bonuses. I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. I'm good. You know, it was it was a weird one. It was like, he slapped my, my, my butt pretty, like, once pretty loud, you know? I'm like, I felt like that was a tap, you know? And uh, he looked at me as if we should keep going. So I jumped right back on him, and I put him in a choke, and I finished it. So, yeah, it was, that's happened to me before. It was funny when that happened. I had a flashback from, like, when I was a little kid. The same thing happened in a match, and, and I didn't jump on my opponent, you know. So this time, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take advantage, you know. And, uh, yeah, got the choke and, uh, and the bonus. So, yeah, I'm super stoked. Got it done. You know what? Not challenging at all for me because, uh, you know, I already had another opponent. I've been preparing for this, you know, for a while, and... Uh, you know, I had a couple of opponents pull out, so there was some new opponents, but, you know, my game always stays the same, my game plan. It's to take down, pass, and submit, you know, so whoever I fight, my game plan stays the same, and uh, my preparation stays the same. I was stoked to have my camp in Costa Rica this time. Um, I had about a week in San Diego, but for the most part, I was in Costa Rica and getting a lot of good training out there, so, yeah, I'm happy to go back home. Yeah, it's coming soon. We're just waiting on the mats now. We're going to put them in the container, and then we got to ship them over there. It's going to take about four months, but the gym's going to be done in about four months. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be training in paradise, running camps. Can't wait. So legendary. You know, I love, uh, I love these, little, these little venues with all the passion. You know, you can tell this crowd, you know, really loves fighting. And uh, I did my best to put on a performance that I feel like they would appreciate. You know, I know jiu-jitsu hasn't quite made its way here, you know, you know, the same way Muay Thai, you know, and the striking has. So I just wanted to make it as exciting as possible. And uh, yeah, I was super stoked to be able to fight in Lumpini. You know, I was here um, the other month coaching my brother. So... I was definitely really, uh, really amped and, and looking forward to it. Stoked to get it done. You know, in the most humble way possible, for sure. You know, I don't think you know there's anyone around my size that can beat me, and uh, I think I can beat guys way bigger than me too. So, pound for pound, 100%. You know, Gordon's gonna have to say something about that, but he took a bunch of steroids to get to where he's at. You know, <laughs> and even then he could, he just taking matches here and there. So, you know, I'm gonna stay busy, keep fighting everyone. You know, stay active. You know, I see uh, my brother making his debut by the end of the year. Uh, he's got so much fire in his heart for MMA. You know, I can see it. So he's for sure going to do it this year. And uh, for myself, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. You know, I want to keep, uh, you know, proving myself in jiu-jitsu, cementing myself as, you know, the best around in, in my weight and uh, or even just around my weight, pound for pound. And then, uh, you know, once I cement that, I'm going to go over to MMA and then uh, make my debut. For, we're for sure open to it. You know, we've had a few. And... Uh, it's funny, you know, the first time we fought, I ended up winning barely by a decision I shouldn't have. You know, I really thought he should have won. And the ref decision gave it to me. And then the second time we fought, I got him in a submission. It just had pure luck. And then the third time we fought, he was smashing me. And then I got him in a submission again. So we're technically, I'm 3-0 and against him. They were all wars, you know, and uh, I know he wants one back for sure. So we're looking, for, you know, we're, we're open to the match. I know my mom's not super stoked on the idea, but, you know, other than that, I think... Uh, I think it'll be a good show for everyone, and uh, yeah, it'll be crazy. You know, I, there's not even a specific person that I feel like I have a, a hit on. You know, I'm down to fight anybody. But I think Isaac Mitchell and Pedro Mourinho are the two toughest guys at 185. So either one of those guys, maybe they fight each other, and I'll face the winner. You know, but I'm down to fight anybody, you know, anyone at 185. Isaac or Pedro, let's go. Yeah, thank you guys all so much for the support. You know, it's always felt so much. I'm the worst on my phone. I don't always get back to all you guys, so apologies on that end, but I just want to say I appreciate it. You know, there's, uh, there's nothing else that I love more, and, and uh, you know, I'm super stoked and grateful to be doing what I love. So thank you all. Much love.